Leon Smith, born November 2nd, 1980. A few days ago, a video surfaced of rapper Lil Reese passing money, food, and other helpful items out to the homeless in Chicago when a giant walked by him and stopped when Reese raised his hand to hand him a few dollars for food and whatever resources he needed. That giant was former first round NBA draft pick Leon Smith who was walking the streets aimlessly and at the time homeless. In Chicago, gangbanging is at the nation's highest and being on opposite sides could simply be being born in different neighborhoods and can mean losing your life caught on the wrong block. I explain this so you can understand how big a deal it was for Reese to help Leon Smith in any way, seeing as unfortunately they are from opposite neighborhoods where blood has been shared on both sides and whether you gangbang or not, no one is safe. It also shows how much respect the homeless Smith still had in Chicago being just a second player in their history drafted to the NBA straight out of high school. The first did it four years earlier, the Hall of Famer and legend Kevin Garnett. Leaving high school, Leon Smith was regularly compared to Garnett and at 6'10 entering the big leagues with an already built NBA frame, it was hopeful he could have the same immediate success as his hometown former top 5 pick neighbor. Leon Smith's story is the opposite side of the coin back in the day in what's the worst that can happen when advanced basketball prospects were making jumps to the league and surprisingly having success. For Leon Smith, it couldn't have ended up much worse than years later in his early 40s he'd be long washed out the league with ignored mental issues, no money and living on the cold streets of Chicago. Smith earned little over $1.4 million over his two-year NBA career, adjusted for inflation to $2.5 million today. But in hindsight, Leon Smith was the perfect case for things all to go wrong, handing a kid instant fame and fortune who's been through the amount of life trauma he has, neglected at just five years old, placed in foster care, then becoming a high school star, then preyed on from every direction for the raw physical gifts and talents to make millions of dollars. He was drafted by the Spurs in 1999 and immediately traded to the Dallas Mavericks and a month later had already alienated himself from the team. He never played a game in Dallas and a total of 15 for his career. In one of the saddest stories, Leon Smith had the basketball world at his feet, then literally lost it all and ended up on the streets. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth. I should get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Leon Smith was a 6'10", 240-pound former high school basketball star from Chicago, Illinois, abandoned by his father and removed from his mother's custody at five years old. He became a ward of the state, placed in foster care where he'd overgrow into a seemingly can't-miss NBA prospect by his senior year. He was ranked the 12th overall player in the 1999 class and not many even knew he and foster siblings had to rummage through dumpsters just to find a meal growing up. With obvious financial needs and great examples like Chicago's Kevin Garnett and Kobe Bryant who had success in the NBA drafted straight out of high school, Leon decided to embark on the same journey and declared himself eligible for the 1999 draft. He was taken 29th overall, a first round pick with a guaranteed million dollar contract. Stun number one, entering the draft. If there was a case study done on the pros and cons of the NBA draft system before the mid 2000s when high school athletes were allowed to enter, Leon Smith could be the poster child for the negatives that could happen. Apparently GM and coach of the Mavericks Don Nelson was worried the emerging super team Lakers would draft Smith with the 30th pick and find the same luck they did with Kobe Bryant so Nelson made a play to have the Spurs draft him a pick ahead and trade him to the Mavericks. Immediately, with not even a training camp reached in Smith's NBA career, Don Nelson said while being interviewed that drafting Leon Smith out of high school was looking like a mistake. The NBA would change the parameters of its draft in 2005 beginning in 2006 that no longer allowed the straight to the league route and much of their decision had to do with what ended up happening with guys like Leon Smith. Smith, although developed far beyond his years physically leading to a dominating high school career, 
in no other way was ready for such a cut and dry business world of the NBA. First of all, Don Nelson hadn't even interviewed, much less seen Smith play, but the hype and his disdain for the Lakers were so real that a chance was taken on him anyway. In his senior year of high school, Smith abruptly tried to transfer to a different high school in California by himself, leading to a missing persons report being filed on him, only to return to more bad grades and incidences that showed mentally and maturity-wise he was not a good candidate for the NBA draft. Lacking emotionally, mentally, discipline-wise, or any other characteristics that produces positive results in a young NBA player, not to mention his sadly unstable upbringing, Leon Smith shouldn't have been drafted at all. It's hard to say because financially he was the only hope for himself and what family he did have. Also, he wouldn't have qualified for a college scholarship with his grades and disciplinary problems anyway. So for him, there was no other choice but to enter a draft he wasn't one fit to be in and taken in first round guaranteed territory, being in control of the freedom to lose it all. In the end, $1.4 million is a lot more opportunity than most get to begin adulthood, but means nothing when you don't have the guidance, preparation, and maturity to sustain the lifestyle and opportunity it can afford. Stun number two, serious mental issues. Since high school, Leon Smith displayed signs mentally something was seriously off and a lot of it is explainable since his life was again seriously traumatized at such a young age. Although it seems really young, five-year-olds are at the right age where whatever happens to them changes the way they see the world forever. They may not remember it, but it's the development they carry and build on for the rest of their lives. Leon obviously had mental issues that weren't worked out all throughout his life, even after the NBA, that made the NBA just a stop along the way. During his summer rookie camp in 1999, ESPN reported that things were going good in practice until the team was forced to rerun sprints because one of them missed the time. Coach's son and assistant Donnie Nelson ordered them to run again as punishment when Leon shouted for Nelson to go run them himself. It led to him being kicked out of practice, removing his jersey and storming off to the locker room. Smith smashed an SUV window barehanded on his way out and was banished by the team and asked not to attend the season opener in Chicago, but he did anyway. Months after being drafted and the Mavericks wanted nothing to do with Leon Smith, their promising first round pick. November 14, 1999, he'd attempt to take his life by overdose when police were alerted and came to Leon's home, finding him passed out in his townhouse with green war paint across his face. They got him to wake up and he told them he was an Indian fighting Columbus after slightly resisting being detained. A friend present said that Smith had ingested 250 painkillers and had to be rushed to the hospital in critical condition before the drugs were flushed from his system. After being released, his girlfriend, Cappy Pondexter, former WNBA legend, broke up with him, leading to him stalking her home, damaging her family's car, and making threats on her life. He was twice arrested and admitted to a psychiatric ward nearby, where he remained for a month. Dallas waived him February 2000, and no team picked him up until Atlanta gave him a shot January 2002. Stun number three, physical skills not shining through. Leon Smith averaged 25.5 points and 14.5 rebounds per game in his senior year of high school and was a dominant physical size at 6'10", 240 pounds, even for the NBA. There's no question he was an NBA caliber talent that may have developed into a productive NBA player, but those talents weren't able to shine through all the trauma in his life and all the mental instability he dealt with at such a young age. His issues led to not learning how to deal with authority or being abandoned and it ruined opportunities for him early on before he could fight a young Dirk Nowitzki and 38-year-old Dennis Rodman for a spot in the rotation. After playing in the IBL and CBA, he averaged 2 points and 2 rebounds in 14 minutes per game for the Hawks in 2001-2002 before being traded to Milwaukee, then waived and back to the CBA. 
The Seattle Sonics signed him in 0304, but he only played a game for them before they too released him. His skills by that point hadn't developed into a consistent NBA talent with everything else personally working against him. All in all, Leon Smith was placed as far behind the eight ball as you could be on the journey to success due to circumstances out of his control and still made it to where most players never get the chance to, that being the NBA and right out of high school. Unfortunately, who he was by then because of those same circumstances didn't make him equipped to carry that responsibility and he lost it all, eventually being homeless once again after tasting the million dollar lifestyle. Salute, much respect, hopefully Leon gets the help he needs going forward. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth, I'm out.